Hi guys and welcome back to the Black Sea Empire campaign in RTR Imperium Surrectum. And last time we did very well. We took out a lot of Trapezus over here. They do still have land, as you can see. We also took out Heraclea Pontica over this way. And I have done a little count up, guys. And we've only got 17 settlements left to go. Including, you know, of course, this one that did rebel. And a few others. There's also one here. I believe Nyoson does count because that's the port for it there. So we do need to take that too. And of course, this massive one over here. In terms of everything else, we are just gathering our army up over this side. We're going to bring this army onto the boats to skip around this Pontic army to start with. But first things first, guys, let's get into a battle. The battle for Colchopolis over here and uh, by doing this battle i believe we have basically taken all of this sort of coast up to trapezus there so that is very good so let's get into it oh no did i just cancel that how did i cancel that i don't think i meant to oh well well we'll have to do it next turn then but anyway let's end the turn there guys and kios has attacked us once again wow well this is interesting we have double the amount of ships as the greek city states but Watch us die. Watch us lose. Oh, we actually did win. Wow. <laughs> well, we have a little bit of an issue, guys. We do have no more space left in this army. So we've got five units left behind that won't be able to do anything. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to have to walk them down and uh, see whether we can maybe get across or come and pick them back up on the boat. So uh, let's get going and we will join up with all of these guys as well. Probably next turn so that it doesn't glitch out because I have seen it do that before. And of course we had rioting over here. They're all the way down to 29%. But uh, by putting those guys in there, that definitely makes them a lot happier. Let's repair the trader and hopefully they'll be fine. Let's also go and siege down Theodosia up here. Now, we aren't going to be able to actually siege it down, but I don't mind waiting the six turns to take it. These guys are going to come onto the ships here too. And we're going to just slowly make our way along and see what they've got. That's a relatively defended Greek settlement. So I wonder whether they're just as defended over here. Not quite. And is that Pontus? That is Pontus. So um, I think we get off the boats here and siege them down at this one first. And hope that they bring some of the troops out of there to defend their own lands. And we will send that ship all the way back over there. These guys, let's go for this battle now after I accidentally messed it up last time. Should be nice and easy, but let's see, guys. And there's actually very few towers on these walls, guys, which is amazing for us. So we are going to be able to get nice and close and fire all the way over those walls. Fantastic. Well, they are bringing some of their soldiers forward, guys, but we are just mashing them with our horse archers as they do it. I'm also sending these guys around the side to see if we can maybe bait a few guys off the middle. And then we're bringing these boys over here to fire down the center too. And now we're close enough on this side to start firing into them too. Fantastic. Let's see how we can do any damage to them or whether they will just destroy us here. But I, I don't think they'll be too bad. I think we'll be able to get quite a few of them. But we are being very methodical at the moment. They are trying to chase us off. So we're just going to come outside of the city and hope that they try to chase us. Meanwhile, we do have our archers this side getting closer and closer and closer, ready to take those shots. And now we're going for a little charge. I'm hoping we can break those skirmishes, which we did very, very easily. The rest of these guys are kind of running off the town square now. I don't know why. We might just have to do the rest of this with our cavalry, honestly. I mean, the main thing I am worried about is that general's bodyguard because the Asian royal bodyguards are amazing, as we have seen many times before. They're a fantastic unit. Luckily, there's really not many uh, infantry units left. So I think, honestly, we'll just try and get into them and try and kill them if we can. I don't mind fighting a couple of guys on the town square, just not everyone, especially not the bodyguard. Well, here we go. The bodyguard has chased into us here, which is uh, fine. That's not a problem. We've got our general bodyguard here as well to rally the men, make sure that they do a good job. And the bodyguard shouldn't be able to chew through us too much because, of course, we are using spearmen ourselves. So uh, that is good. Fantastic. Let's see if we can stop these skirmishes getting onto the town square here. We'll get our horsemen around and see whether we can charge this bodyguard in the back. 
Come on, boys. There we go. That's fantastic news. They've managed to stop them getting on there. So all we really need to do now is kill that bodyguard and we will have won this battle. Let's speed it up. There we go. Fantastic. Nice and easy. We hardly lost any men indeed. About 80. So uh, yeah, that's fine. That is really nice for a 900 settlement um, defense. Very good indeed. Let's go. And I think we enslave over here just to make sure that they are in fact happy. We've got these guys here too. So I don't really know what to do in terms of the garrison. Maybe just the 12 men there. How unhappy are they? They're pretty unhappy. Um, yeah, so maybe we want something more along the lines of 55. There we go. And they're still unhappy. That's not ideal. Let's uh, let's see whether we can get any mercenaries. None at all. Ooh, we really do need to keep infantry so that we can assault cities. I think it'll be okay, though. Let's repair the walls. And then we can build that temple. And I think we'll be able to make them happy. With the rest of them, we are just going to keep coming down. If Trapezus decides to mount a bigger fence over here, as long as they don't take Trapezus itself, I am plenty happy with that as well. Nothing else really to do now apart from do a little bit of building. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can build and I'll see you on the next turn. And here come the Greek city-states in the north. Very nice indeed. They've literally only got one cavalry and one Greek hoplite. This army is literally just like slingers and akontistai. So I think we'll just charge through that one. So let's go. Well, a lovely flat battle map as well with a little um, little obelisk for us too. Very nice. And let's get into the charge, guys. I'm really not bothered about whether this second army withdraws or not. I just want to charge these guys, make sure that we, uh, that we get plenty of them killed. And then uh, we can do what we want with this sort of unit too. I think we'll take these guys off fire at will very soon once they've fired a, their first volley. So let's go with that. And there we go. I, I don't think these guys are going to be able to stand up to what we have to offer. Look at that. We've actually accidentally killed a few of our men, even though I took them off fire. But there we go. Should be able to break them very quickly indeed. Well, there we go, guys. We literally cleaned them up straight away. That was no problem at all. And we've lost four men. So, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be an issue. Well, then, these guys have not started to withdraw. So uh, let's get into them. We'll stick them on fire at will as well. And we'll use the general to bait the infantry. The horse archers mainly focusing on the prodromoi to start with. And then we'll try killing the Greek hoplites. Oh my god. I just love the look of this mod, guys. It is so, so amazing, isn't it? Like, look at that. Look how good that looks. This is a 20-year-old engine. I, I just can't believe it. it. Looks amazing. Well, there go the prodromoi. I'm hoping we can kill most of them by the end. Now we're going to try and start shooting at the Greek hoplites. And basically just keep baiting them back and forth. And as soon as they turn, guys, they do get absolutely shredded because they haven't got that shield up like they normally would. So, uh, yeah, they get sh much more shredded when they turn. So, uh, yeah, we need just need to keep baiting them back towards us and we'll be good. But right, here we go. They've turned around now. So let's see how many shots kill compared to the front. And as you can see, it's a lot, lot better. It is a lot better. We won't be far off being able to charge these guys soon as well. And there we go, guys. Completely wiped them out. Apparently, we lost one, but we actually lost 10 due to friendly fire, as usual. But a glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. And there we go. We've taken Theodosia back. I think we will enslave Theodosia just to make them a bit happier. And Trapezus has attacked us as well. That is a little bit of a problem. Luckily, we have that secondary army that's on the way. And we got a candidate for adoption, guys. Let's accept him. Where did he pop out? He popped out up here. That's not exactly ideal, but we can send you to Olbia. Olbia is a pretty good town, honestly. So, uh, yeah, get to Olbia, my friend. And Kolkopolis did riot, but um, it's on 70% now. So one more turn should be fine. Apamea, uh, sorry, RPK Kome over here. We can upgrade that. Very nice. And we were besieged on a few different fronts, unfortunately. Let's just check to see how we are doing over here. And instantly, they are incredibly happy. That's good. They've still got the Temple of Artemis in there too. Very nice indeed. I don't think there's much more we want to do with that. Apart from sending these guys round. That's quite a long way for them to go. But... Uh, <laughs> We'll try and use our ships if we can. How far can you go? You can go all the way there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a long, long way, my friend. 
long, long way. And as you can see, Trapezus is sieging us down. Let's get into them there, and we will go and attack them. We've also got this one. I think what we'll do with this, let's just maintain the siege there. Let's organize them properly, and we will just uh, auto-resolve. It shouldn't be too bad, 120. And uh, let's enslave. Let's get out of here straight away and go on to Cide Pontos. I haven't seen that Pontic army uh, this turn. It looks like it's gone away somewhere, and they're instantly happy at Kotira. Good. It's only a town, so we need some lore in here, don't we? Let's get some lore. Fantastic. And then we have these guys that have the army. So what I'm going to do, drop the army off. Now join them together. Oh, why did they do that? join them together because if you do that sometimes it glitches out and uh, <laughs> you can't do anything i think we will risk leaving them on the ships this is literally just a progemoy i wonder the one thing i'm thinking guys i wonder if byzantium is one of the war, like war goals of kios uh, because i do know that the mod team basically gave all of these guys goals um, if you look at the victory conditions on the main screen, it tells you the victory conditions, but they're not necessarily necessarily there for the player. They are there for the AI, and they will target their victory condition areas a lot more. So I'm wondering whether Byzantium is one for Kios, because of course, they just constantly attack us, don't they? <laughs> well then, let's get into Tindarios over here. And, oh my god, once again. Um... I'm not sure you're going to be able to stand up to the might of this charge, guys. Watch this. We are just going to charge straight into them. No arrows firing so we don't get friendly fire and see how we do. Let's see how we do. Let's go. Well, guys, where are they? They're up this hill. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think they're going to be able to do much against this. Let's watch this amazing charge. I've turned them all off fire at will. So hopefully we don't get any friendly fire, but let's see. Right, here we go, guys. Some of them have been a little bit slower than others. Let's get into there. You guys get in straight in the center. You guys get there. And you guys get there. And let's just watch this. <laughs> this is going to be filthy. This is going to be filthy. Let's just watch, guys. We don't really need anything else. Come on, boys. Into the charge. A few of them dying on the charge, of course. These are just like standard sort of slingers. And here they come. The hordes of men. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, boys. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we need to sort this out a little bit because, um, yeah, some of them are, are charging the wrong people. You guys get in there. There we go. Oh, yes. And now we just need to kill the general. He's already routing. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, two men actually managed to survive that. They can go back to their villages and tell them that it's probably not a good idea messing with us. We did lose 34 men, but <laughs> that is how you absolutely blitz through, <laughs> through a missile lobby, <laughs> guys. Mass cavalry charge. Let's go. And I do feel almost bad for Trapezus, honestly, but... Yeah, I really don't mind if we lose, like, these two settlements. Like I say, we just need Trapezus for the mission, don't we? Uh, well, for our goals, not the mission. There is no mission, but <laughs> for for our own goals, that is what we need to do. So, yeah, that's good. Is there anything else that we can do right now? I don't like this Bithynian army standing here. Um, but if you remember, guys, Bithynians, apart from the hoplites, basically have, like, very little armor. So the Romfire Foroi, for example, they do have 10 combined defense there with the armor and shield um but i think our horse archers should be able to shred through them no problem whatsoever because of that lack of armor same over here it's very much missile troops no armor on them so that is where the horse archers do excel so yeah it should be a nice pretty uh, pretty nice battle if we do come round to that in terms of this army that we've sort of mini mini gathered <laughs> mini gathered up here we're going to go and take nioson up that way uh, because that one is one of the settlements that we do need as well so yeah i think that's good though guys let us end the turn there and pontus wants trade rights oh, let's thanks. accept that let's also go for an alliance i'll offer the map information too i also want their map information 
So if I offer them like, I don't know, a thousand gold, maybe? Let's see if they'll give it I'm to us. Okay, now you. now we can actually see how big Pontus is. And we had some more rioting in Theodosia of all places. Once again, it said like it was 70 last time. Where did the troops go? Oh, the general has died that was in there. Oof, that is not good. Let's uh, pop them in there as garrison. Stick you guys in there. So he died in the rioting. So, yeah, that's really not good. So they're remaining very unhappy. Um, let's see what we can do with an other guy. Do we have this happy? Yes, we do. Okay, so that's a lot better. We were able to deal with that. We are now allies with Pontus. And now we can actually see how big they are. They're relatively big. They have one settlement that we do need. So I am willing to kind of ignore them for the time being. Um, and yeah, just kind of go towards Sinope instead. We will siege that down. What do they have in here? Not much. Not much, honestly. Let's see what that says. I think we just go with that. 318. I don't mind because most of that will have been our um, infantry. So yeah, this army is still very strong. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Maybe we leave behind the Akontistai there. I think this army, honestly, at this point, is just going to be propped up by mercenaries whenever we can get them. Let's have a look over here. What do they have? Not too much. Not too much. We have got space to add in our law temple, the Temple of Zeus, of course. And let's keep on going down to Amisos over this way. Nice. Very nice indeed. And now we are starting to get some cities, guys, which is really, really helpful for our income. Well, I think there's one thing that we need to do first before we get back onto Anatolia with this army. It's to uh, auto-resolve that. We lost zero men. Good. Go away, Kios. <laughs> like, I am not bothered about you at all. And then uh, let's come and dive over here. Like I say, I don't want to declare war on Bithynia just yet or Pontus. We'll do that right at the end. The same thing with Scythia. We might as well just uh, take out um, some of these other areas like Sinope and all that sort of thing. I think Sinope has these three settlements. So, and that's it. So let's see. Yeah. Is that the same one? Yes, it is. So... Yeah, just the three coastal settlements so we can actually destroy them. Very nice. Um, anything else we want to do this turn? I don't believe so. Let's just check. Yeah, nothing else that we need to do this turn apart from maybe move this army around. And uh, yeah, then we can uh, we can head off, guys. I'll do a little bit of building as well. And Sinnoh wants a ceasefire. I mean, are we... Are we sieging them down at all? No. So that's fine for oh, now. Thanks. We'll leave them for now and then we will attack them again. Well, let's also auto resolve this one. 162. Not a problem at all. Like I say, guys, these little small like sort of siege battles, you guys don't tend to watch them. And yeah, so there's no point me sort of playing them really. We'll use one of you guys as garrison in there. And then we'll also get another mercenary then. Um, we might as well... Oh, we can't combine them because one of them's AOR. Let's get our Silesian pirates. They can help us along, can't they? I quite like the Pisidian Javelinmen too. They are a, a good unit. And unfortunately, we can't get past anyone because of Cappadocia and Pontus. That is a little bit annoying. Wait, they've got... Okay, they do have someone in there. I was going to say, if they've got no one in there, that would be quite funny for us. But um, let's move along then over here. And I have also been recruiting units in Heraclea Pontos over this way. So we're going to get there ready to move as garrison units, basically. So let's siege down Sesamos over this way. And then let us go into this battle. We will do this one because we are starting, starting to lose quite a few of our troops. And they have a decent amount. Do we have access to more mercenaries here? Yes, we do. Hmm. Well, the light spearmen aren't good, but let's just take those two units and let's go. Here we go, boys. Well, here we go. We've got Yuzonoi in the gates, guys. So we're going to use all of our tiny little units to try and charge into them and try and get rid of them. And then we will start coming into the city. Well, here come the Yuzonoi again, guys. But we do actually have our horse archers at the ready now, too. And our light uh, infantry here. So, uh... Let's get into them. Let's go straight into them. We're going to bring the Pisidians forward. I'm also going to tell them not to fire because I kind of want to use that later. And then we've got these guys in behind ready to fire too. Over this side, we are going to send 
these boys around to try and uh, elicit a response from the Greek hoplites. What that response may be, I don't know, but uh, let's see. And here comes the general. He is charging into us now as well. Fantastic. So uh, let's uh, keep on moving forward with the rest of our boys. And we are really, really struggling over here. As you can see, I mean, these guys do have some good experience, but they're so small. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everyone fight the general's bodyguard. And these boys are definitely going to be garrison troops. Look how many they've lost already. <laughs> there goes the general, though. Nice. And now we've managed to pull the Greek hoplites off the town square. Fantastic. So what we can do now is charge these boys with our horse archers. I know we're going to lose a few men. So let's charge them and then charge straight into the Greek hoplites there. And then we should have won, basically, um, which will be good. Like, we basically just need to chuck these guys off the town square and break them. So it shouldn't be too long. Let's see. It looks like they're going to break very, very soon. There we go. Don't let them fight to their death. And then we should have won. There we go. Fantastic. Nice and easy, guys. We lost 127 men still. So this army is getting weaker and weaker. But we just need to keep topping it up with decent mercenaries, which are, to be fair, quite hard to find around here. So with Amisos, let's also enslave. That is another juicy little settlement in our hands. Now, like I say, we have very, very few troops left in this army. The thing is, though, if there are any field battles, we still have a very good chance of doing some decent damage so let's go for the shrine to zeus there too and go straight into sinope now i think these guys might come out of the city if they do that'd be fantastic for us that'll be a nice little fun battle for us wouldn't it um, and then these boys we've got to wait for the ships to get here that do actually have uh, reinforcements which we can not add to this army but maybe add to Aretos potatoes over there and as expected they did decide to come and attack us that is rather a juicy army honestly um a lot of cavalry too so yeah i don't think we do beat that honestly so um let's take the battle though what do we have 548 versus 2000 men so, yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. If the worst case scenario, we're basically going to just do as much damage as we can with the horse archers and then withdraw. So uh, let's go. Well, the other thing we could do is just take the city and defend it for three minutes. So that might be the option. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with these boys. Bring them in close. We'll get the horse archers. These are the smaller units of horse archers on one side. There we go. Group you boys together. And you guys come here too. No real chance of them getting shot by any of the towers. So that's good. And uh, that is all the infantry that we do have currently. So it's, it's not much, is it, guys? But hopefully we can uh, start absolutely shredding these boys straight away. That is, um, of course, Epilectoi. So it's a good unit. But what do they have here? More Thurio 402. And then Cavalry. So we genuinely could get into the uh, the city rather easily now let's uh, bring these guys back and there we go they have chased us off there but that's fine and i think honestly we get around here what is that that's a zista 4 right yeah we don't really want to mess with a zista 4 right as of yet but there we go we just need to kill this infantry and then we might be able to get in the city and win <laughs> i think that'll be that that's the play guys a sneaky little city run oh zista 4 right no 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 Oh dear, you're just going to have to uh, take one for the team there, my friend. Bring my general over this side to have a look too. Get you guys back as well before you get too killed by the Javis. There we go. Make sure we are targeting the Zista 4. Right, you guys go and charge them just to hold them up. Come back. There we go. And yeah, it, it's, it's even tough against these boys because we've got such a lack of troops right now. Yeah, keep firing. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. Make sure we fire on the Zista 4 right there. You guys keep coming back as well. And yeah, I think we're, we're in a decent spot. We're not, not in a great spot, but not a uh, terrible spot either. Keep coming forward. Let's keep firing at that Zista 4 right unit. They are starting to die quite a bit now. I want you guys to go and deal with them. You boys over here, keep coming forward. There we go, and let's see if we can deal with them. How big is that general, though? That is a huge general's bodyguard, so that's not exactly nice. But let's see what we can do about getting into the city. They are sending their uh, 
their units over straight away. Right, if they're gonna if they're gonna run, we need to run into the city. I think that's our only chance of winning this battle, guys. <laughs> so yeah, our general is beating the Zistaphoroi here. But uh, yeah, let's make sure that we uh, keep these guys on skirmish mode. Maybe if I'm going to be microing elsewhere. But looks like we're doing a good job against that general's bodyguard. And these guys are not even the experienced ones. Guys, 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 run. Run, please. Run. You should be faster than them. 100%. And they're doing an absolutely fantastic job. Very nice indeed. Let's um, turn you off fire at will for a second. Go, go, go. 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 Guys, go. Go through the gates. Go through the gates, guys. Oh, dear. How are these guys faster than us? We're fast moving and light cavalry. I mean, it says missile cavalry, but ultimately that means light. <laughs> so, yeah. No, no, go, 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 guys. Go, 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 go. You idiots. Go. What are they doing? Go. Go through the gate. You idiots. Go. Go. <laughs> God, how stupid can you get? How stupid can you get? There we go. Right then. Into the center. Guys, into the center. Go, go, go. This is it. This is it. And I think we might win. Let's go charge him now as well. Let's get bring the general's bodyguard. And uh, all we need to do is, is blockade this for three minutes. And we'll be fine. And uh, kill this epileptoid, of course. What is that? 304 -oid cavalry. I don't think we need to worry about that. They're going to kill all of our troops here. But, uh, yeah, he runs. He runs. Good, good, good. Right then, boys. Come forward. Come forward. You need to somehow get into the city, too. And once that is closed, they shouldn't be able to come into that. Very nice. Very nice. And hopefully we can distract them. Just get there. Kill the Thurio Foroy. There's, tw there's 23 of them. 23 of them. You guys kill them as well. And then we basically just need to block off these entrances. Um, that is what we're going to do. You guys need to kill this 304 Roy cavalry. Come forward. And basically, we just need to distract all of this stuff outside of the city now. Go, go, go. Kill them. Come on, men. Six 304 Roy left. Let's speed this up. There we go. There we go. Go, go, go. Get on the here. Get on here, guys. Kill or kill them. Kill the Asian Slingers. Come on. Speed up. Speed up with that. Speed up with that. And we are starting to lose over here. Against the 304 Roy Cavalry. Come on, man! Kill them! How long does it take you to kill the Agent Slingers? God damn it. Right then. Now we just need to, like, block off these entrances, basically. And there's only two. There's only two. Okay. Okay. Good. General on there. You boys on there, making sure. We've got two minutes 40 to go to basically win. And we've used all of our ammo for these boys. So, um, yeah, we're basically just going to have to try and bait them. Um, they can't come through that gate either. So the only gates they can use around the side. And they're just running past it. Well done, AI. Well done. That's good effort from you. And you can't even come through this one. So even if you can, uh, there's nothing you can do. So yeah, I, I think we've won. <laughs> A rather cheeky little victory. But I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. If, uh, if we're going to push back this massive army, absolutely I'll take it. So let's speed this up. And it doesn't look like they're even going to come inside the city. So <laughs> very cheeky little victory that, my friends. Very cheeky. We still inflicted 600 casualties as well. This army lost like, I don't know, uh, 60, 70 men. Very nice. And this army, of course, was fully destroyed. So they will get pushed back. Now, we 100% need some mercenaries. We have no infantry left in this army at all. Um, I don't think we beat that just with the, the rest of our horse archers, so <laughs> let's see what we can do. And let's enslave Gadalon. And Trapezus just keeps coming back to attack us. That is unfortunate. Well, honestly, what I think might be the best option now, guys, is literally just using this army to respond to, like, Trapezus over here. Using this army to push further down the coast. So, let's see whether we can do that. Can we get all the way to here? We can't. Hmm. Well, let's get them off there. They can go there. You guys need these boys because we can't actually get through past this Pontic army. Let's just stand there for a second. And, uh, well, we're, we are going to have to defend this settlement, aren't we? I feel like they will attack us. Hmm. 
I wonder if we stand on the bridge there. Is there any good mercenaries? I mean, a phalangite right now would be amazing and we could just stand on the bridge. No, there is none. Uh, I mean, this is really tough. Do we stand outside the city and let them siege it? I think so. I think so. Um, and they're actually happy enough there. Good. What is the temple? Temple of Hermes. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Let's also just build that in there as well. Just to make sure that everything is good. Let's also just auto-resolve that. 168, but it's come out of all of the infantry. So that's no problem whatsoever. Let's leave behind you boys. And let's keep on moving. We do have our garrison troops over here now. Free to move on. Fantastic. You ships, what are you? Seleucid ships, how many do they have? Just one. Should be able to kill that then, no problem. There we go, nice. I think we keep our ships here, ready to ferry men back. But we are making very, very good progress in joining our areas together, aren't we guys? So we've been attacked by Trapezus up here. It's our three horse archers against all of these guys. I don't think we win this, but let's see what we can do. The skirmishing life. And it is pretty much just going to be as much skirmishing as we can do. I don't think we can really beat the Greek hoplites in a straight up fight. So uh, let's get in there. Um, but yeah, if we can get rid of the general here, we have a much better opportunity. I'm also hoping we can maybe kill that other general, wherever he's coming in from. That would be quite good for us um, to just get rid of him. And he has Galatian swordsmen. Ooh. Okay, they're an okay unit, but they shouldn't be good against horse archers, so um, let's see. Let's see if we can kill his general first. Well, they keep trying to close in on us, but look at this. The general is nearly dead, guys. The general is nearly dead. Very nice. They're just like a little horde chasing after us, <laughs> which is quite funny. And there's a single general left, so hopefully we can kill him. I do want to charge him if possible, but obviously we can't do right now with all the infantry around. Oh, and I didn't realize we were up against the side of the map there. Oops. Oh dear. Well, um, we can escape though. We can escape. And there goes the general. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and now we can just sort of chill, use the rest of our ammo. We can't actually escape from this. So we do need to fight this until the end, unfortunately. If we can maybe split off one of the units and go for a mass charge on them, that would be incredibly useful. Like this now. If we do this, let's see if we can break them on the charge. There we go. Broke them. Now we come off. Come off. Come off. Why are you standing still, you idiots? Right, and then we get rid of all our last ammunition and see if we can do the same thing again. And that is all the ammo gone. So, yeah, we're just going to have to try and get them. They should be more exhausted than us. Impetuous, apparently, the Galatian swordsmen. Let's see if we can get rid of them then. Here we go. Glacier Swordsman, like I say, quite a good unit, actually. Why isn't it showing me what they're, they're like? Oh, it's because they're impetuous. Yeah, if we can uh, make our guys rout, though, this army should still survive just about. So maybe we can kill this general here as well. There we go and see what he does. And that is our general dead, so maybe our guys will rout. There we go. Uh, these guys have come back, though. No, you, you, you guys need to rout now. <laughs> Route. There we go. Now we can survive. Very nice. Indeed. And these guys came back again. <laughs> we need you to route, guys. We need you to route. Like, run away. Everyone run away. There we go. That's better. <laughs> we still did kill nearly 300 men, and they only killed, like, 150. So, a decent result for us once again, even though we did lose. And we did escape to the other city there. So I don't think they'll be taking the city anytime soon. Ooh, and at Mesembria, we now have the ability to get Zistafor. <laughs> Literally 75 turns into the game and now we can get basic heavy cavalry. <laughs> Great. Well, we managed to get these boys on the ship. So we're going to drop them off over here and bring them towards Sinope. There we go. Looks like they have some juicy little armies there for us to fight and we're going to bring these guys back can we get all the way not quite i'm going to risk it though because that army is so small anyway it doesn't matter so much i wonder whether we've got dysentery here or something because these defenders have quite a lot of these guys have died and obviously in the auto resolves i'm assuming but i thought maybe more hail and hearty what a nice uh, nice little uh, trait for this boy there we go. Now, I don't think he does have dysentery or anything like that with the troops. 
So, yeah, it's just the auto-resolves, which is quite a lot of auto-resolves. He's a shameless despoiler as well. <laughs> nice. Hi, guys. I am back. I did have to take a little break. So, we are back. We are going to do the last couple of things in this episode. First of all, we're going to just auto-resolve that one again. There's no point in doing that battle like we've said many times before, guys. So, uh, let's just come out of Kyotoron over this way. Let's also go low. And what do they have? A shrine to Hephaestus. Uh, I'm sorry, Hephaestus. You can go. <laughs> and then let's bring these guys in there. We're going to go straight on to Karambis as well. That should be a very nice, easy little battle for us too. Let's get these guys in. There we go. I wonder whether it's worth continuing our recruitment here. Honestly, I think it will be. So let's just do that as well. And then we've got the town growing, which is this over here. We've got a few cities now, which is actually rather nice, honestly, guys. So those guys are going there. And then we've got this massive battle to do. So let's go for it. This is going to be very interesting. Now, unfortunately, we can't take the city this way. I should have walked all the way around. But actually, I don't know whether we would have been able to. That's the only problem. Um, so we do want to kill all of these guys, because if we don't kill them... Uh, they will retreat to the city. So, oh my god, this this army is terrible. This army is mainly missile troops, but we just need to get rid of the cavalry with our horse archers, and then we'll be fine. So, uh, let's go, guys. The ferryman will be busy today. He will take many souls to the afterlife. Yes. Just make sure that yours is not one of them. And this is a relatively good battle map for us, guys. It is a little bit small as battle maps go. I'm pretty sure there are various sizes of battle maps in this game, but I could be wrong. So I could just be bullshitting, but I don't know. Someone let me know down in the comments below. I, I always uh, forget about that, whether there are different sizes in this game. But uh, we shall see. Mm, is that equal? Probably not. Probably want to gather those guys together. There we go. That's probably a bit better honestly. And then we will use our infantry, but we'll have them literally right at the back with our general too. And if they want to come and, uh, you know, challenge us, that's absolutely fine. But we'll uh, we'll let them go. Let's have a look at the uh, Silesian pirates as well, guys. Here we go. Look at them. Very piratey. Got their sort of ragtag um, armor on, their hide shields and wicker shields, and these magnificent blades as well. Very nice. We've not seen those guys yet in this campaign, have we? So, well, let's go. Well, here we are. We are already firing into them very nicely indeed. Destroying the Prodromoi and the Zistophori. Main thing, they have set up in a very nice defensive position. I mean, look at that. That's pretty much perfect. Um, and I have realized that I probably should have split these guys based on what type of troops they are. Because if I just pause here, let's have a look at the Dacians. It says they're fast moving, but the Scythian horse archers are fast moving as well. And I'm sure the Dacian horse archers are going slower. See, these are the three Dacian ones. And these are the three Scythians. So I don't know whether there's different tiers of fast moving. But uh, certainly the uh, the Scythian ones are quicker. And look at this. Look at this massive just sort of horde of men that we can fire into. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. They probably will get some shots off on us. But uh, yeah. As long as we don't get charged, we should be good. And there goes the Prodromoi getting absolutely ruined as well. Very nice. And then we've got, what do we have? Uzonoi over here and Akontistai. That should not be a problem. Don't really need to worry about these guys coming in behind because we can just charge them really. And there really isn't much they can do. We are just going to skirmish with them forever. I mean, they can bring their general in. That's actually probably quite a good idea. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get backwards somewhat. And uh, see whether we can kill him. What is the general, by the way? Oh, it is an actual general's uh, bodyguard. Okay, fair enough. So they are going to be relatively tough to take out. But uh, what do we have behind us? They're still walking. So yeah, this is not going to be a problem, I don't think. Well, one of the main issues we do have is that these guys are really not doing much damage against the Yuzono, unfortunately. Because of that lack of experience, the Yuzono have a decent amount of shields. Are they all withdrawing? No, we just can't really see them all on top of this hill, but we'll keep the pressure on. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I might just... I'm, I am considering just charging the Uzono, honestly, because they aren't great units, are they? I don't believe the Uzono is spearmen. Are they spearmen? Like, or is that just their javelins? I think their secondary weapon isn't a spear. I think it's a sword. 
So, yeah, now they're starting to die as their hit points have been reduced. Very nice. Oh, and we almost got bait and switched here by the other unit of Yuzonoi. So we are just going to have to come back somewhat. I have brought my guys out this way a little bit as well. But the uh, main thing now is just trying to get as much power down on sort of the Epilectoi, all that sort of thing up here, because they do still have a decent amount of infantry, and we don't really have any infantry. So, yeah, we do want to kill as many units as we can. And I'm thinking, honestly, let's stop wasting our time on the Yuzonoi here, and let's just get rid of them, because, um, yeah, there's, there's no point in wasting our time with them, is that... And let's see how they do on the charge. They did manage to uh, get back into formation in time. But we should be able to uh, to kill them. So uh, let's go into that Yuzono. Surely we're going to be able to break them here. Yes, there we go. Nice. And let's just keep on going straight through. And this is the power of horse archers, guys. Like, once you have used your ammunition or you don't want to fire, you can do some lovely little charges there as well. Very nice. And I think we've pretty much taken out them all. So let's get on to this Yuzonoi here as well. And, uh, yeah, try and take them out too. And let's see how we do against these guys. These guys, of course, are the general of the other unit. And uh, looks like they're still eager. Probably because they do have the general in them. Yeah, glad to have the general in the unit. But I'm hoping we can break them before the other unit comes in. Looks like we're not going to. So let's just get out quickly and uh, try and sort ourselves out. Here comes more infantry. We don't really want to have to deal with the Epilectoi here. I'd rather fire at them. So uh, let's see if we can maybe get out of this as well. Same over here. And let's actually put fire at will back on. So we start to fire back at them. And I think now that these guys have taken a bit more damage, one more charge is going to be good. And as you can see, the... Uh, Epilectoi is getting absolutely screwed over over here. <laughs> Very nice. They do have this Thurioforoi on the way, but I can't see us not breaking these guys now because they are down to so many few minutes, especially with their general dying like that. There we go. Let's see if we can go straight into the Epibartai. We broke them. Let's break these guys as well. And uh, once again, we need to retreat because the uh, Epilectoi are on the way. And there we go. We've taken out a full unit. Let's see if we can take out the Thurioforoi cavalry here too. And uh, we are bringing our infantry up now to do some of the damage because we are starting to run out of ammunition on one of those armies now. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. And as you can see, they are now coming down to meet us. So I think it's our chance to pounce. There's not much really left of them, is there? So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's put the pressure on here, guys. This has been a lovely little battle so far. So let's keep it up. Even if they do manage to get up onto the uh, the hill here, that's not a problem for us. We've still got loads of ammunition with these boys, so I'm not worried um, about what we can do here. Let's keep on pushing. Let's get all the way up if we can. The general can just sort of chill out over this side, and uh, we can still fire on them with these boys too. Well, here we go. Spearmen up the middle. Silesian pirates up the middle too. You guys up there too. Let's just keep on charging up. There's not really much that they have here. They do have some Thurio Foroi, um, and they've got a general that is charging down the hill. So uh, let's just escape his wrath before we kill our own men too much. And uh, let's see if we can uh, maybe charge into this side as well. There we go. Looks like we're just going to be able to overrun these guys now. Let's just go for the monstrous charge over this side. And there goes the general. There goes the general. So let's just charge in everyone. Let's just charge in. That's how we do it. Absolutely wipe them out. And then we go for the mass charge at the end. And this is just going to cause absolute chaos. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> no, very nice indeed. There we go. Everyone is running. Everyone is running. There we go. Fantastic. Well, there we go, guys. Once again, an absolutely glorious battle. We only lost about 200 men. And we killed 1,500. <laughs> Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. What an amazing battle again. Let's go. Well, some of them did escape, but not too many. So let's get on to Sinope, which is still only a large town. Um, not good at all. So uh, there we go. We've still got a little bit of money. So I'm going to go around and build in all the places that we can build. And then I'll see you in a second, guys. Well, guys, let's go for one more turn and then we will be good. And it looks like Pontus decided to attack somewhere. So I'm just going to retreat from that. And Kios wants a ceasefire. Of course, we'll take that. <laughs> and I also forgot last time to do this. Luckily, the end turn sorted us out. So we are sieging down Nyoson up in the north. We're sieging down Sinope as well. 
and we're sieging down Karambis. Let's just uh, auto-resolve Karambis again. 216 again. Wow. Never auto-resolve, kids. Uh, anyway. <laughs> we, I mean, this army is still plenty fine. Like, it's it's not a problem. So, let's uh, just pop along, see how they're doing. Is that a big army? No, it's it's literally nothing. So, let's go for Kalusa. And so we've pretty much got the whole Anatolian coast then, apart from Pontus. So uh, let's just have a look at what else we've got going on. Lots of towns expanding. Awesome. That is fantastic to see. Odessa, Scythia over here. And we've got Nikonion, which is going to become a city. So we are actually getting some decent sized cities now. Awesome. That is really good to see. Um, and I think that's everything we want to do militarily-wise at the moment. Apart from, we were going to drop off these guys to deal with Trapezus. So, yeah, we will do that. And we'll do that uh, next episode as well. Let's do a little bit of building, guys. And then I will see you in a second. Well, guys, here we are. I've done a little bit of building and deleted a few military buildings that we didn't need as well. And I've just had a look around. And I believe we need nine more settlements. And that's all. Two off Ponsers here. Two off Sinope, one off Bithynia, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is it. And then we're nearly done. And then we've nearly got our full ring around the Black Sea. Very cool indeed. I hope you have been enjoying this campaign, guys. Please do like and subscribe if you have. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.